Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I am in the northern part of our map, just above the um, the solar grid that we've had going on for a while now. And I'm just about to get ready to build the iron smelting area. So the first thing that I am planning this around is to have trains being able to go into an area without crossing the path going out. Um, so therefore, I want to build my outlet track somewhat like this. Um, and we'll just take this along. Oopsies, did I not? There we go. There we go. Now, I kind of also want to leave room to have maybe more tracks. We could, in fact, have four tracks that are uh, uh, parallel, but I want to see how this is going to work first. Now, I'm not terribly, terribly bothered that this is crossing the path of the uranium train because that's just a couple of trains up there coming back and forth. Uh, but this is going to be a serious plates getting um, train thing. So we're going to have to figure out how to get this most effectively in here. Now, since we have absolutely nothing built here, it's okay um, to kind of experiment and kind of lay things out the way we want to. Now I'm planning on having four or so um, stations going out, which can indicate a lot of processing. I'm thinking about the stations going out facing downward so they can immediately get off onto this track and go back down into the main base. Um, and then the ones that come in, we're going to have them come in from above, obviously. And then the ore trains that are going to deliver to this smelting area are probably going to come in from up here. So we'll drop the ore off up here-ish. It'll get processed by the big processing area. And then the train stations down here will be down there. Um, so I want to figure out how we want to get parking in here for our several train stations. By the way, a big thank you to Paul Harwell, who has been commenting on my Mashunki series, but I hope he's here too, um, who informed me that in real life, um, what we're being called um, parking spots for trains are called staging areas, train staging areas in real life. So thank you for that information, Paul. That's really cool to know. Um, right, let's go back in here and get our parking. How do we want to organize this? Let's see. Tempted to do something like this. Because... Um, these go out this way, something very much like this, because as we have our stations, we can have a number of parking spaces here. Yeah, we certainly can. I want them to come out at the end though, so I want to be copying something like this, actually, something very much like this, which... I will, um, somebody suggested, and I forgive me, I forgot who it was, but they had the very excellent idea of upgrading these, um, inserters. I can't believe I have not upgraded these inserters yet, um, to this, to, to greens here. The inside inserters have to be upgraded there. Boom. There they go. Uh, I heard somebody was starting a betting pool as well. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, do I have any um, any inserters in my train? I don't remember if I added them or not. No. Okay, let's see. Is that enough? Did we have enough? I can't even remember if we did or not. We might have had enough. Oh, we had two extra. Right. Okay, so that's fine. Let's upgrade these guys. Okay, so now we have that organized and I'm going to remove this thing because I don't want to normally upgrade inserters like that. All right, so I'm going to copy and paste this entire thing here. Now the question is, are we going to use belts? That's a very good question. I don't know. I'm rather inclined to use belts, but at the same time... Um, I'm, we're going to have a very, very big station here. Well, and that's not going to work either, is it? 
Well, it'll sort of work. It'll sort of work. I'm going to put this... I'm just going to stamp it there for the height of it. We want it to be going there. Okay, so that's going to be the height of our track. Now we're going to get our parking lot put in here. This one is going to have our lovely little curve that we need to deal with. Oh, wait. Um, God, this is like, there are too many variables. I'm like, wait, should I align it from the left? Should I align it from the right? How do I align this thing? You know, that kind of thing. Uh, right. You know what? I need another alignment thing. I can't do it this way. I need to get this back. Call this good here-ish. And then that's what I need to do. Right. Oh, God. Game. Why you do this to me? Like that. That's what I need. And let's grab some more of these guys. So my bots have no trouble telling where to put things. That train is back there. Can I back it up? I think I can. All right, train, let's go into manual mode, please. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Okay, that's fine. Hey, bots, how you doing? Here, don't, don't wait around. No time like the present to get going, get moving. Let's move this train back as well. Because I'm going to want to park it on the left there. Okay, that's plenty of space for parking. Let's move this along. And we'll just have a half a million parking spaces there. Or staging areas, depending on your proclivities. And now I will get my rail signals to... Ah, uh, right, we need chain signals here. Very important, because we're crossing tracks. Get that one there. Then get rid of this extra bit of track here. We want to have this there. And we'll have our other signal somewhere like that, maybe. Okay, get also a chain signal on this side. Um... Right, yeah, we don't want to have that there. That's just fine. And then, unless the whole world is backed up, we'll just need a signal over here. Okay, train, where are you? There you are. Go into automatic mode, please. Right, here we go. Let me finish building this area here. Nice. Wait, should I move? I should move it forward. Now, the other thing I've been thinking is, should I have the parking directly transfer into the stations, or how should I do that exactly? Um, I'm thinking also about breaking up part of the parking as well. Let's just put down a few more of these guys. Oopsies. Yeah, like that. I We definitely need to do something like that for sure. Nope, no more? Okay. I'm going to put some of these miners in here because I definitely don't need miners at the present moment. Okay, let's get more of these guys. It's a very, oopsies, very track intensive episode, that's for sure. Connect this along. There we go. And I think, let's see, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 divided by three is around like every five. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll take, get rid of that one instead. And in here, I want to put a, um, a signal like this. One, two, three, four, five. We'll have one here as well. Just to break up these blocks. 
Oh my god. This is a little bit awkward, isn't it? Okay. Just to allow trains to enter this parking lot faster and also leave it faster. Okay, and we're going to, we don't need that one. Whoopsies. Whoa, okay. I'm gonna put a signal there and one there as well. I think that should help a little bit with getting stuff around now. Do we wanna place this down? Do we wanna have belts? That's the really tough thing. I was thinking about having a completely bot-based um, or mostly bot-based kind of situation here where the bots can basically make um, consistent throughput, huge, huge throughput without any limitations whatsoever at all. And that was what I was just kind of thinking about as I was um, thinking this morning about how to design this whole area. So I think let's get rid of the belts. Let's go no belts here. Take off these guys and inserters. Well, we don't need blue inserters. We're going to need the ones to insert things onto the train. No lasers. Uh, we're going to take off this whole line here. Let's also take, oh, not, I don't want to take all the signals off. Take off this and that and these guys for sure. Don't need any of these signals down here. We're going to have to resignal the whole thing. And these, that side doesn't need to be there. There we go. Just kind of like leave it at that. Take off those signals. We'll just keep the ones at the fronts of the trains and at the back of the train station. Though I'm wondering if this is going to be this way, maybe I should just plop one at a time. Wait. Did Oh, I forgot to take off the belt. Silly me. Silly, silly me. There we go. Okay, belts off. Now what do we got? What we have is this. <laughs> Complete with, <laughs> with silly stuff as well. Okay, let's get rid of this. We're just going to get rid of this whole second station, I think. Take these off. Take all of these guys off. All the combinators here all the inserters and boxes on this side, just one side. In this way, I wish there was a way, like, while well, the Factorio devs are making GUI improvements, hint, hint, um, if there was a way to, like, deconstruct, like, a whole square of an area on the, on the blueprint itself, that would be amazing. Just really nice, cool, and awesome. Right, so here's our station, which is not exactly what we want anyway. Just a couple of items. Um, the other thing that I would like to do is I we're gonna have to we're just gonna have to move stuff around. I think we should just build the station. Okay, let's put it here. Uh, but then we're gonna get our other chests because these are gonna all be requester chests. Okay. And this thing needs to move. Dang it. I wish I had... This is one incidence where I would love, love, love to have picker extended because there's a function called a dolly where you can just shift it over one square without having to do anything else to it. Okay, that's okay though. We're gonna just copy and paste the conditions and then we're going to grab our wire and then connect it back to where it was. And this one is saying what? Are they not connected? Oh, they were they were connected by the noses. I see. All right, that's just fine. I'm just going to move these guys up. And then copy over the conditions. There we go. Get our red wire conditions copied over. Now remember, these conditions are for the loading of the train. 
and each of these sets of boxes representing one wagon on the train are connected to the individual combinators. Um, and basically they are going to tell this signal is if we have um, greater than 2K, wait, is that right? 2K in all the boxes? Oh no, this is, oh, this is, this is for one wagon. Sorry about this. If we have greater than 2K, which is actually, is it 2000? Yeah, it's 2000. Um, can they hold 2,500 or something? Now I'm getting like, wait, did I calculate this wrong? Cause I might've, or is it greater than or equal to? No, it's greater than, must be working though. Let me just check how much, now I've gotten nervous. It's like, how many things does it hold? Uh, or is 50, right? So one, two, these are 40 slots times 50. That's 2000 exactly. So if, oh, it's, I see. It's because it's counting both sides. It's not just um, one. All right, never mind. I had a minor little uh, thing like, oh my God, did that work? What it's counting is, is if there is in the total amount of boxes here, chests, is there enough to fill a wagon? And if that's true, um, then we send one blue square to this particular rail signal. Um, and after all of them send that signal, let's just uh, get them all together on the output side of these combinators. Then the rail signal is going to say, um, if, if it's less than four, close the station. And if it's greater or equal to four, then it will open the station so that the train can actually load. It's important to do this per wagon and not just say, oh yes, do we have 8,000 in all these chests? But then you can get uneven loading and then your train can sit there forever waiting for it to load. Okay, let's get our thingies going here and we're gonna run out, I think. Oh dear. That's the trouble with going that quick way to end up getting too many of them. Okay. And we need to request, how many do we request? Um, let's see. So we have 4,000 in the wagon or is it 2,000? 2,000. 2,000 divided by how many do we have? 12? It's 166 per chest. I think it would be valuable to request 400 per chest. And this is going to be iron plates and not iron ore. So we're going to say 400 per chest. That's this one, right? I'll try to be very careful because I do not want to re redo the, the combinators. These we can just copy straight up and down, but these we have to be careful not to run over those combinators. Okay, great. Now we also should choose these guys because plates have twice as much as um, stack size as ore. So these need to be 4,000 instead of 2,000. Let's just redo these. The reason I'm doing them right now is because I want to make sure that we have everything ready uh, before we uh, copy and paste and make new stations. Okay, this is going to be, let's see, outpost. Oh, we're going to call it iron plates. Iron plates one. And this is going to be, I don't know, should we change the color to like white, which is going to be all 255s? Yeah, because iron in this game kind of shines, it's kind of silvery looking, or I don't know if it's silvery. For plastic is more white, I suppose, so we'll make it like a little bit more gray, perhaps. Or maybe medium gray, because yeah, that's just fine. Gray is okay. Okay, this is kind of exciting. We have we have parking spaces. We have a station. Let's get this moved along this way, uh, and then we can put in our. We don't really need to be having a chain signal there because 
the other station was going out onto the main line and this is just going into a single line and it's not crossing anything. So I think we can just use regular rail signals there and we'll have this one waiting uh, here and then this one can go here. Maybe we'll put even that one there so this one can pull up if it should desire to do so. Okay, and this is going to be our copy and paste moment. So I think we'll go and grab this whole thing here. Looks good. Okay, we will place it down. Can this be placed here? Oh my god, it can. Do we want them that close together? Um, normally I'd say yes, but we can't walk in between them. It's very tempting though. Do we need to walk in between them? Oh, the other thing is too, we're going to need fuel. Where are we going to make the fuel? That's going to be a tough one. Um, let's see. Here's our crude oil patch and that's what we're going to need to get fuel going. The question is, do we belt it or do we fly it by robot? I'm thinking we'll belt it just because we'll have, um, we may have several discrete logistics networks in here that we may not want to connect. So I'm thinking we'll just belt it over. So let's get that going. want to get this to be like this I think limit this to one square this will be I'm trying to make a repeatable design but it's quite hard to estimate at the moment we also need this to be under a thing there Let's see how that tiles quickly we do this one here oh that's perfect we just need one belt here like that perfect okay this is exciting we're getting closer guys we're getting very much closer okay let's copy and paste this whole thing and then we'll paste another one this is one away good I'm excited this is really nice this is very very nice now after this what we're going to do and does this does this sit perfectly oh it fits perfectly look at that all right so this is going to grab up to one uh, slot full of fuel and then it's going to go along okay this works really nicely that's three four five and six all right. Oh, this is so good. Oh my goodness. Happy days are here again. Good, good, good. Now, 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 now. I think we'll have a... Hmm. Now, the one thing that I have sort of forgotten to add is... I think I'm going to make this first station. I'm going to make that for the building train. Or should I make the building train on the end station? I think I should, well, probably make it on the end station. Okay, let's get this replopped again. There we go. The special building train station. Okay, termites, go, go, go. Go for it. Kill things, kill all the trees. <laughs> get rid of these impediments. It's kind of funky because I actually quite like the colors of the trees. I think they're very pretty. Um, it's just a shame that they're kind of an impediment in this game, alas. So, oh well. And as our raiders have been scanning the area, you see less and less biters. Oh, which just makes me relax and feel good about things and stuff and all the other good things and stuff. Okay. All right. We are doing pretty well. Uh, is this working at all? Are there too many signals here? I think there's way too many signals here. That's a little bit of a funkiness, I think. All right, let's go and get some... We're going to need to set up that building train very, very shortly. Um, let's set up a track for it, and then we'll set up an unloading. What we can do, in fact, is grab our... We could grab the solar station 
which this is, I kind of think it's better than the wall station in a lot of ways. So let's just grab this. We'll delete. Oh, no wonder I had both of these things. How convenient. All right, that's better for that. I might add that to my, um, my blueprints. And do, 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 get rid of this. Then we'll grab this solar station here. Don't need this or, however, we might need this. We might need the robo port. Let's cape the robo port. I'm gonna plop this down over here in line with the other solar or the other stations, wherever they are. There we go. Shove that there. Excellent. Oopsies. Beautiful. Right. And oopsie. Come on. We'll put it in line. <laughs> we want to have it looking nice. Um, and we're going to need stations. Oh, I think I have some in my train. Let's go and get some. No need to not have these things right where we need them. I need... I have plenty of that. Let's get some power poles, though. Signals as well. Oh my god, I can recycle this entire carriage. Oh my god. I'm excited about that. I'll tell you what. I am... At some points, you get kind of weary of that sort of thing. So we're, I'm glad. I'm glad. We're moving onward. Life is better. Things are good. Um, we don't need those yet. Tanks, no. I think we're good on that. Right. Okay, cool. Ah, yes. Make the station the proper color. Okay, this is going to be, let's see, iron, what do we call this? Iron plates construction. Iron plates building, we'll just call it that. And we're going to have our train come down here. Hello train, where are you? Now, I was wondering, somebody suggested this from the comments section and thank you very much for this i think you can click ah there we go well it's here we could click on this station from here and say aha there is a train with this stop fantastic you're gonna go to iron plates where did it go there we go iron plates building um and go until circuit condition for now right go boom Okay, cool. Right, that is that. Let's get this thing over here. And we're gonna need some power because we have zero power over this whole area. So we're gonna just connect this that way. So all of this at least can be powered up. Now, the only issue that we might have here is Trying to get enough stuff out of our, um, whatchamacallit, out of our thing here. We need to program this guy to take stuff from the train and we'll get that. Can we, I think we can use multiple constant combinators if we have too many items, I believe. How many do we get? That's three, six times three is 18. I quite forgot how many we have, but we're gonna get rid of all of these things. Uh, I don't remember if we had lamps or not, but we're gonna get all of our inserters. Oh my God, it's one, really? Okay, fine. We'll get 50 of those. We'll get 50 of those. And what else do we need? 100 of these, 50 of those. We need modules. Modules, modules. Do, 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 do. Wrong page. No wonder I can't find them. I'm just going to have 50 sitting. I really don't want to have more than 50 sitting here. Oh, and I forgot 
the other thing we need the white inserters as well 50 of those Let's see what else we've got here we need chests requester chests providers um furnaces wow we need a lot of stuff okay passive providers 50 requester chest 50 providers uh we already got those do, 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 do. what else do we need these guys 50 these 50 oopsies um and then belts we can use like 300 of those i'm not going to take them all out of the um the cars just yet because i don't feel like it's necessary uh we're going to need beacons for sure in fact i don't think we're going to need well we might need stack filter inserters we might beacons where are you second page i think there we go I'll take 50 of those what else do we need Got inserters. Do, 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 do. I'm trying to think of what we need for this specific area. Guys. Got the undergrounds. Assembling machines. I don't know. I don't think we're going to need assembling machines, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. Do I have any on me? I do. Okay, cool. Um, splitters, we might. Alright, we'll get splitters as well. And if we need anything else, then we can have... Uh, the train kind of come back and forth with us. Now, I also want to connect these up to the next car as well. So let's get rid of this and copy the whole thing over here. Okay. And these guys are also going to be connected to their own lines. Connect inserters to inserters and chests to chests. And uh, this can certainly be moved to be kind of properly aligned. Oh, wait, that's why I did it that way. Okay, cool. Excellent. So now these guys are going to take out uh, those belts and things. Get them hopefully within range of all these other things. There we go. Okay, they got some, some stuff going. Excellent. Now, how many... Okay, we're going to take off these garbage things because we really do not need them at all. Inventory full. Oh no, how could that be? All right, so here we're going to say if um, inactivity, okay, and we're going to delete that one because we want it to keep coming around and keep building this whole area here. All right, we do need to make sure that we have our robo ports connected. So let's put another one down here. Uh, right, so those are going to be good. We're going to need another one up here. Make sure we have the whole area covered. In fact, we are going to want several robo ports because this is going to be a bot based base. If we don't have robo ports, our bots cannot charge, which will be extremely inconvenient. So we'll put at least those right there. All right, and we have kind of a rudimentary system going here. I'm quite happy with, with the train station so far. I think in the next episode, what we'll be doing is we'll get the fuel made for the trains that are going to come through here. Uh, and then we will go and um, get the... I don't know if we'll do the other station first or we'll do some smelting or, or something like that. But anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.